Okay, next we're going to do a splinting. Uh, we're going to use a vacuum splint for an upper extremity. This vacuum splint is very good for splinting the, the arm in a slightly flexed position. Because if it's fractured or dislocated, we don't want to straighten it out uh, for other splints. So for this one, we want to make sure we have our uh, shorter splint. Uh, we also want to make sure that we have uh, the pump. Uh, we also want to make sure if we need to, to add some air to make the beans loose to kind of evenly distribute it between the top and the bottom, we can do that uh, before we apply it. So after we did our assessment, again we want to try to move the arm as little as possible. And then it kind of sticks on the ground. And we did notice that some of these you may need to go up onto the shoulder just so that it attaches properly. So we have four Velcro spots. Down here, we would attach the, put the pump together with this at the bottom to suck it out, and then attach the, and just check it before you apply it. Just make sure that all of your Velcro is secure. And again, tell her that let you know when she starts to feel it uh, becoming more rigid on her arm. And you can kind of see that it's, it's forming a little bit. How's that, Katie? Again, we might have needed to, to move some of the beans different spots just to maybe make a tighter fit. Okay, once that's fine, we want to check a capillary refill or a distal pulse to make sure that she still has that or, and then she can go into the hospital. Again, just or ER, EMS. Please make sure that they do not cut this off. Uh, when they get to the hospital, uh, they can, with the pump, just move it up to the top and you can connect it and add the air. And now uh, should be able to move it and take it off. And that is the splinting for an upper extremity with the, using a uh, vacuum splint.